So let's talk about stanchion diameters, because so often other riders tell me that as a light rider, I should be on lighter forks and that 38 millimeters is way too stiff for me. Yet Connor here <coughs> is expected to find the limits of a lighter fork. So this got me thinking, do we need to be sizing up or down according to our weight? And how do we know if we're too light or too heavy for our forks? Well, SR Suntour have provided us with three different stanchion widths to find out. this belief both myself and Connor who are arguably at the opposite ends of the weight and height spectrum will be riding the same fork all set up to 160 millimeters of travel but each having a different stanchion diameter so we have the Uron which is 35 millimeters the Duralux 36 which has 36 millimeters and the Duralux 38 which has you guessed it 38 millimeters to make this challenge as fair as possible, both myself and Connor will be riding a nuke-proof Scout in our respective sizes and we'll be setting up our suspension according to Suntour's recommended settings for air pressure, compression and rebound so that the performance is relatively similar regardless of our weight. All three of these forks are intended for trail and enduro purposes. They all have similar axle to crown lengths, they're all air sprung and they all have magnesium lowers. This is Connor Ryan, our very own production manager. He is 117 kilograms. He is six foot four inches tall. His strengths include braking bike parts and his weakness is uh, beer. And at the other end of the scale is your tech presenter, me, Anna Chipulo. And at my heaviest, I weigh 61 kilos. I'm five foot one inches tall. My strengths include laughing loudly and getting good life out of my components. And my weaknesses, I guess, is chocolate. Starting off with the Oran with the 35 millimeter stanchions. We're here at a typical trail with rocks, roots, and corners to put it through its paces. So let's get riding. Three, two, one, go. The Oron has an aluminium forged crown and it's offered in travel lengths from 130 to 160 millimeters of travel. The weight is 2,140 grams. The Duralux 36 has direct mount for 180 millimeter rotors, is offered in travels from 150 to 170 millimeters and it has the option of hollow forged or solid forged crowns and our model weighs 2,270 grams. The Duralux 38 has the stiffer hollow forged crown, direct post mount for 203 millimeter rotors and is offered in travels from 160 to 180 millimeters and the weight of our model is 2,480 grams. While the differences may seem subtle, it really shows the scale of intentions and preferences available to a rider, even in one genre. SR 
Star Suntour have been producing suspension since 1995. And at that time, stanchion diameter was typically 28 to 32 millimeters. Now, this width grew over time to keep up with the demand for rougher trails and longer travel. Today, trail forks tend to have 34 to 38 millimeter stanchions. The wider the stanchions, the stiffer the chassis to support longer travel, but also it will be much more control for aggressive riders and aggressive terrain. However, with the wider stanchions, you do get more material and a heavier weight. So some riders might prefer a lighter fork. Interestingly, all three of these forks have won the Mega Avalanche at some point in time. We've had a good day's riding and we're actually losing light now. So uh, let's head back to the studio and talk about the results. So we're back in the studio, all a bit more warmed up. And uh, well, Connor, what did you think about the different stanchion diameters? Did you feel the difference? Yeah, you definitely could feel it a little bit. I think for me, I, it wasn't like a crazy difference, but you could feel on the real rough stuff. And I found under braking, the smaller fork was a little bit more harder to control, whereas the big one was just felt solid all the time. I think the 36 was kind of the perfect middle ground. So there is that choice. I think for me personally, like the weight wasn't an issue, being bigger, like lifting the weight or pedaling the weight up the hill has never been an issue for me. I've always put extra things on my bike to make it burlier, I run heavier tires. So, cause you kind of have that extra power being bigger that it, you don't get the punishment that like a smaller person would. Yeah. So yeah. that's why, Maybe you would lean towards 38, you may as well have it. The weight, like I, I never felt the weight mattered to me when we were riding them. No, yeah, I, I didn't think I would notice the weight differences at all, but when you ride them back to back, mm. it was quite noticeable. Um, when I put the, the Aura in, the 35 millimeters, um, it was just a little bit lighter in, in that it just felt a lot easier to pick up the front end and sort of pop the front end and play a little. Um, whereas the Duralux, the 38s were a bit heavier, so it didn't feel as easy, but it was still doable. Um, yeah. But then with the 35s, like you said about control, I did feel like occasionally in really rough stuff, it would go offline a little bit. Mm. Whereas in the Duralux, the 38s, you could just draw a straight line, like straight through it, and it would just yeah, go I through. Yeah, I think the smaller the fork, the more you are probably punished for your riding mistakes. Yeah. If it, whereas the bigger one, you could get away with a little bit more. Yeah, but then the 38s, I feel, would be quite stiff, heavy, mm -hmm. and fatiguing if it was like an all-day ride, yeah. and I'd rather have the 35s. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. I wonder if I would, I probably wouldn't complain about either if they were on my bike, but doing them back to back really showed that sort of subtle difference. Mm -hmm. um, but now that you know, and you've seen those differences, would you always go for a 38, for example, because of your weight or your height um, or your riding? I never, f I didn't feel like it was like I needed to like I was heavier so I needed that like the both the small forts felt capable enough but I would say it's like back to that I didn't feel the punishment of the extra weight so why not yeah get that extra confidence I don't think the weight my rider's weight made a difference to all of them they all like worked well yeah. again the light the lighter one you probably were punished a bit more for your mistakes, but yeah. that's riding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, as a light rider, I don't feel like I should be on a 36 for a trail mm -hmm. and enduro or less, for example. Yeah. I was really comfortable on the 38s. At no point did I think they were too stiff. So, I, uh, But they came into their own in the right territory, like when yeah. it got really rough. The rider weight isn't the big aspect no, on your choice of standard. The type diameter. of riding I do is probably like enduro y laps of rough trails. So I would go for either the 36 or 38 personally. Mm. 
But if I was riding a long day out XC, the 35 would be yeah. ideal. So it's just that choice depending on what type of riding you're doing. Yeah, I totally agree. When it comes to, say, a thicker stanchion diameter, it's great for riders who are putting a lot of stress on their equipment. Now, this could be rider weight, or it could be just down to their style of riding or the terrain that they're choosing to ride. So it shouldn't be the only factor that you consider. So a light rider who has an aggressive riding style, who rides rough terrain, might also prefer a wider stanchion diameter, and they shouldn't be put off a bigger fork. But let me know down in the comments below, is stanchion diameter something you take into account when you buy a set of forks? Let me know what you prefer and let's start up the debate.